Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial uh, for Salome Mecca and Coda Steps. And uh, today, after the request of one of our friends, I want to show how we can run Coda Stair outside a stair study, so without using a, a, a user interface. And uh, in order to do that, uh, it will be very important to understand what are the pieces of information that we have to give to Coda Stair in order to execute the analysis and uh, what uh, we give to him and what we ask back once we have this uh, it, it is a pretty straightforward uh, procedure i want to use uh, always the same example that we used in the first tutorials so we have here a command uh, a command file uh, let's say an analysis that we created uh, with uh, aste study if we go and we click text mode here and then edit we can see the command file in a text editor so these are the, all the commands that we are uh, executing and we can see here some uh, file associations this uh, unit is uh, unit numbers that we associate to files that we give or we ask from Codaster. so for example all the the export files they have these uh, unit numbers and uh, so if we have all the files that we need and especially the command file uh, that is the main one we can go and we can run Codaster uh, let's say with a terminal let's uh, go to do this and uh, the easiest way is that uh, to use uh, Aster study the analysis that we did now with Aster study and uh, to see how Aster study did the, the low level analysis of Codaster and use these files to reproduce the analysis. So we just go to the to our folder where we have done the analysis with uh, Aster study and uh, here we have the the three files that we asked for uh, as uh, results. And uh, if we go here in the files run case one result bin here basically we have all the files that we need to run uh, again with the terminal I'm going to copy the command file, the med file, that is the mess, and the export file and I'm going to just paste them in a new folder and uh, I will go to a text editor to see what is uh, again in these files so the command file is what we saw uh, in, uh, in Shalom Omeka but there is also there are two extra commands. One is the debut, that is the command where uh, Aster st Codaster starts to, let's say, to read the, the, the commands, and fin, that is uh, when it will terminate. These are mandatory in a command file, and uh, actually Aster study puts them automatically for you. It's an automation that uh, it does. So, but if we actually look at the command file that uh, it actually used, it has, let's say, always uh, these uh, commands uh, inserted. Then we have, uh, as we said, the mesh file that is binary, we cannot see it. And uh, then we have the export file. So the export file has all the information that we need. Basically, it has some options about the analysis. So maybe there is a time limit or we have uh, the memory that we want to allocate. Uh, the, the version of Codaster, the stable version, the tested version, and so on, and some other stuff. And then we have a list of file associations. Typically, in the, in the beginning, the files that we give, and then the files that we ask for. And in this case, we have two files that uh, we give, that is the command file and the med, and all the others are the uh, export files. So we have all the elements, all the materials to run analysis with in this folder with the export and the two files. So what is uh, the easiest way? The easiest way to use uh, Salome cell. In Salome cell, we can access it or uh, via Salome Mecca from the tools, plugin Salome cell. But I'm not going to click it because in my computer I have some problem with that. But in any case, I'm going to show another way. We can go to the folder that we have, Salome Mecca. And uh, we can start a new terminal. So I'm in this folder and with Salome, I'm invoking the Salome command with the keyword cell. 
And Salome Excel uh, gives me the, env all the environment of uh, Salome Mecca. Now I can use as run to run Codaster. So I'm just going to go back to my folder. So I'm back to my folder and I'm just going to write as run export. And this uh, will uh, run Codaster and will give me all the files uh, that I asked for. So this is uh, one of the ways uh, to run Codaster and just going to show very quickly how we can do it also with uh, Aster uh, ASTK. So exactly the same thing. We can go here to the tools and we can go to run ASTK. So basically, I'm going to select a folder where I do the analysis. So I'm going to select my run terminal folder. And basically, now I have to recreate the list of the files uh, as uh, we did. We can also uh, import the export file that I showed before, but let's try to do it very quickly manually. So let's say that I can say mm -hmm. that I importing, I'm going to use the command file. Okay, and this has a unit number one. I'm going to use a med file. And this unit has the number three. Then I want to have a, a message file, a mesh file. I'm going to use a six. I'm going to have a, an armed file. Okay, I'm having some problems. Good. I'm going to have an armed file that is number 80, and then I have also some other export files, uh, the txt, but it doesn't matter in this case. I can just leave it like that, like for now. And uh, I'm going to have the stable version, and let's say that uh, we add some more memory, and I'm going to click interactive follow up so that I see the terminal. And I can run, I can save it. And we can see the, that the terminal is running, Codaster is running. And uh, in this case, it will create another uh, ARMED that is uh, the, the result ARMED that I requested and the, the result mess. If I don't specify the other files, uh, they, they, they will not export them. So with this, uh, you saw how we can uh, run Codaster from a terminal or from ASTK, how we can use uh, also a stair study to take the files that we need. I hope uh, this was uh, a useful tutorial and uh, in the future, I think we have also to talk a little bit about the, the stage the analysis and uh, how we can do it inside Codaster, uh, inside Salomec Aster Study or outside and uh, how they can be an efficient way, let's say, to structure the, your uh, analysis. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and see you next time. Thank you.